Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome to your daily update here on Bitcoin, uh, which is obviously still going to be very much in light of what we have tomorrow. If you don't know, tomorrow we have the interest rate decision and just in general um, the, 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 the meeting and the press conference of the Federal Reserve, which will be massive. Uh, since this is the first rate cut in a very long period of time, right? I'm, I'm not even sure when, when the last rate cut was. Uh, but that's going to be major, all right? Rate cuts are historically seen as relatively bullish. We'll talk a little bit, little bit more about that in this video as well. Because there are some other things you need to know as well. Uh, but just in general, let me turn up my volume a little bit. I, I think it's better now. Uh, but in general, just wanted to prepare you for um, for that. If you If you look at the technicals right here... Um, we got a relatively nice bounce here from the 3A2, all right? So, so that's pretty good. That's pretty bullish. That's especially uh, very different from what we had at the end of August and the beginning of September, where basically every, um, like, we would have fallen back a little bit more aggressively and a little bit more than what we have done since Sunday. This just seems like normal um, FOMC de-risking, all right? That's what we talked about in my in my video yesterday, which I, if, if you haven't checked that out, I would still recommend you to check that out as well. And there I talk about the whole Federal Reserve meeting quite a bit as well. Uh, this one, crucial interest rate cut information. Um, but there, what, what we concluded is that every time the couple of days before the interest rate price drops down a bit, this looks normal, all right? And then um, the rates are going to be cut. And what we see at this point of time, outside of the technicals, the technicals right now on the short term, I would say are, are quite neutral, all right? This can, this can very much turn into something bullish, but could also turn into something bearish. We, we just very much have to wait for the results. But what you see right now is that, uh, that's a saga, excuse me. What you see is that the dollar strength index is at a major support level, which you can see here as well. All the other times we hit that support level, except for the 14th of July, um, we were we, we spiked up from there and we found a lot of support. Right now, it looks like it's breaking, which is very bearish for the dollar strength index. It is uh, one of the main causes is that interest rate cut uh, coming up and that more and more people are expecting a 50 base points decrease Personally, I still expect a 25 point, uh, base points decrease, but all right. Um, but that is causing the dollar strength index to, to break down here, which is very bu bu bullish for Bitcoin, all right? So in the current situation we have where the S&P 500, by the way, also looks more and more close to breaking its all-time highs, which is also bullish for Bitcoin, I have to be bullish on Bitcoin here. Um, I still think that before tomorrow, before the big day, oh, uh, excuse me, that's uh, my uh, my uh, camera going blurry. I still think before tomorrow, it's still going to be volatile and quite uh, difficult market circumstances to trade. But if we look at the general market structure here, I do think we have a good chance to, well, initially get up to that level right here in the next uh, couple of weeks, next couple of days, excuse me up to this level right here between 60, 61, 62,000. But I also do think if the current trend of a strong stock market and a weak dollar strength index continues, I think we can break above that. And I, I think we can get very, very high, very, very uh, quick. But like I said, and I do want to end the video on that because I do think that's the most important part, what happens matters a lot. Like if, we, if, if the market expects a 50 base points decrease, and we actually get a 25 point base points decrease, that's probably going to be bearish short term, all right? Long term, also, if you look at this, so here you can see some uh, statistics regarding the last rate cuts. Historically, even a 25 base points cut is very bullish for the stock markets and therefore probably also for Bitcoin um, in the next year, all right? So I'm not too worried about that. Um, it's just that if you if, if you look at the uh, 50 base points cut, it's actually uh, relatively bearish. I don't think that's true because I think 2007 and 2001 with the economic crisis were, uh, were, were very much different. But that's just something to, to keep, in, keep, keep in mind, all right? A 25 base points cut, short term might be bearish, long term is still bullish. And a 50 base points cut might, be, uh, might look bullish short term but might actually be bearish due to fears of some sort of a recession coming. But I'll keep you updated on this, all right? I'll still make a couple of videos on, on this whole phenomenon and, and what to expect, so keep your eyes out, uh, out for that. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.